Hey everyone, in today's product demonstration series video, we're going to be taking a look at the RODELINK Wireless Audio System Filmmaker Kit from RODE Microphones. Because I'm a musician first and foremost, and a photographer and videographer second, I find myself becoming greatly attached to gear, whether it's my guitars, my amplifiers, my pedals, whether it's in front of the camera or behind. But my point is, when I use my gear, I need to know that it's gonna work the minute I turn it on, be reliable, and not have to worry. One of the first things that strikes me about Rode as being professional is their packaging. I know you can take an inferior product and still dress it up and it can still fall short on delivery, but that's not the case with Rode. From the moment you get this home and take it out of the box, everything from the box to what's inside the box is as pro as pro can be. And just so you know, the audio for this video is being recorded by yet another Rode product, the Rode NTG3 shotgun microphone, which is located just above my head out of frame here. And you can watch for another demo and review on that microphone coming very, very soon. Okay, let's have a look at the units themselves. Obviously, they're both clearly indicated. Uh, RX for receiver, TX for transmitter. Both uh, the construction of these are, are heavy, but not too heavy. You know you get a good piece of equipment. We're gonna look at the receiver here first. We're gonna look at the top. So on the top, we've got the power button, channel button, and mute. On the side, we have the output, which will either run to your camera's um, microphone input or to a field recorder of some sort. And then you have a USB power source. This can actually be powered by a USB battery pack or whatnot instead of the uh, AA batteries which are inside. And to do that on the bottom, to open up the battery compartment, just press this down and slide it. Very, very nice. The door does not come all the way off, uh, so you can't let it fall or break or anything like that. Two AA batteries. Uh, you've got a, a decibel a gain control here as well, so zero, which in the most cases where I leave it at. And I didn't even touch it in this demonstration, so it was left at zero. You've got plus 10 and plus 20. Uh, for most cases, you're probably gonna wanna leave it at zero. And depending on the microphone that you're using with it. And then you've got a pairing button as well too. On the bottom of it, obviously you have a hot shoe um, connector. And one thing I like about this, I was kind of baffled the first time seeing it with the round hot shoe. I didn't even know it was actually a shoe connector. You put it on the camera. In a traditional fashion, straight. Or if you need for any particular reason, you need to rotate it. You can rotate it really 360 degrees, wherever you need that to go. It can totally, totally swivel wherever you need it. I like that feature, very, very cool. And I find them very easy to get on and off as well too. Very, very nice, I like that. Uh, another cool feature I like about it too is that the, when they have the jack on the left-hand side of the camera, most cameras, at least mine, uh, the microphone jack is on this side of the camera. So when I'm using the included cable, which is this, it has actually the threaded, the threaded coupler. I'll keep it on there without coming off and then boom, straight to your microphone. So it's perfect, perfect for that. I love that feature. Obviously, I showed you the cable that comes with it. I'll show you what does come with it. So obviously, you've got two units. We have the actual cable itself, which and it's bungee, you know what I mean? As a coil cord, which is very nice. It's long enough to reach certain things without, without having a bunch of cord hanging. You get the lavalier itself, which is very, very good material. This is gonna be very hard to break. Uh, threaded count on the end as well, too. So there's your lavalier with actually the clip. And then um, a small, foam windscreen and what's nice about it too is actually a little plastic insert on that so when you go to put it on it snaps on very very nice it's not just the foam there's actually a piece of plastic insert on there as well too and some other videos I saw online I didn't see this that came with it and actually it does with mine uh, the mini fur lav uh, kind of windscreen and you'll see me using this in the video and this was a godsend because when I was out in the field um, there was times where the wind was pretty intense so I was just using the regular foam windscreen and it did not do the trick this, I put this on there and it did look a little odd on my shirt. It looked like I had a, a bug or something crawling on my shirt. However, it was almost virtually noiseless. And here again too, it has a slight plastic insert in there as well too. So putting this on, it goes on very, very nice. And then clip to your shirt and you're ready to go. It has a little vinyl-esque leather look. Uh, a little carry bag. And I do carry everything inside there, which is very nice. A little drawstrings, so you can pull it tight. Very, very nice. Nice attention to detail. But let's actually try the units here for a moment. The, the ease of pairing these things are so, so effortless. You go out in the field, you turn the two things on and they will find each other, which is great. Uh, no, I, I still have the plastic on this one. We can always peel that off. I haven't taken that off yet. It looks like I've got it on this one too. We'll take that off too. All right, we're gonna turn them on, press and hold. Okay, and you see the one is blinking, and this is over here trying to find the signal as well too. You watch what'll happen. It's searching, it's searching, it's searching, and then it's gonna stop when they find each other. There you go, it's found it, and the one has stopped blinking over here. So that's indicating that both of these are on channel one. You can put these on any channel that you want if you're using multiple of these products. Uh, in my case here, I'm using channel one, and, uh, and it works perfect for me. Now you also, on this indicator here, 
on the receiver, it's showing a battery indicator of both the receiver and the transmitter. Uh, and it's letting me know that the batteries in this unit and that unit are at full charge right now, which is very, very good too. Now, if I was running my lavalier into the transmitter right now, you'd be seeing a, uh, a VU level, like an audio meter, which would be you know letting me know how loud my level is. What I like about this is I can actually hit mute on here, and that's actually muting the signal on both units. Now I can actually, this is what I really like about this. So actually if the person was in between scenes and you wanted to mute everything, they could go and have a conversation, um, in, you know, and, and not have the, their audio being picked up. That's a perfect example for that. But I can go a step further and I can press and hold the mute button and watch what will happen over here. Now you notice by the channel one, there's a little dot. That means that the person over here that's speaking cannot accidentally mute their audio, uh, which is really, really cool. I do like that feature a lot. And we press and hold that again, and that'll take, that'll disable that feature. It just takes a moment. And there you go. Turning them off again, press and hold just for a second or two, and they cycle down. This one will cycle down and that one shuts off automatically. Once again, power it back up. I want to find one another. Just takes a moment. And we've almost got it, and there we go, we're paired. Now, uh, belt belt clip on both these units, and also, obviously you wouldn't be wearing this one for most kids on your belt, and it has a hot shoe. This one has the belt clip, and included in the box is an additional hot shoe connector that will snap on one of these spots here. Um, most people would probably not do that. You're gonna use this on your belt. I do like the fact that it's metal into here. Um, it's very solid, very stiff. It'll go on your pants. On a belt, it doesn't necessarily have to be a belt per se your pants uh, around your buckles or whatever or just just on your on your pants alone it'll, it'll stay in there very very solid and they tuck away nice and discreet and here again too I didn't open up this one but pressing them down you kind of press in and down and there you go very very easy to get to your gain obviously on both units let's open them both up so you've got gain control on both everything about these are solid like I say not not super super heavy um, but they're, they're just absolutely fantastic. Now, when I'm out recording, I don't tend to run the output of my receiver into my camera. It's very easy to do that, but I prefer to run into my field recorder. I have a Tascam DR60 uh, Mark II field recorder. I love it. And you can, I can run the output from here like this. Actually, the Tascam has a 3.5 millimeter line in, which is cool, and I, I've used that originally. And I, you can also get these separate from Rode. This is a 3.5 millimeter to um, three pin mic jack. All right, and you can put that on there like that, and now you've got a balanced output, and that goes really, really nice on most field recorders. It's a good thing to have. It's a, even if you're not gonna use this, it's nice to have these in your bag, and those are available as a separate purchase from Rode. Uh, and they're nice to have a couple of these in your gig bag for sure, because you never know when you're gonna need these. You might be using someone else's field recorder, and uh, you might not have uh, the 3.5 millimeter input. So there you go. That's pretty much it for the units. I swear by them. And I'm gonna just turn this one off here as well too. You can see that it's only the receiver showing power. I've got that one turned off. And if I was to turn it back on, you'll see it pop on the display as well too. There it goes. All right, enough talk and enough specs. How about we put this to the test and take it out on the road? All right, we're gonna take a trip over to the local field. It's a nice open field and that'll give me a good range, wide open space to test this kit. I think it'll be great. Pull in. And we are here. All right, let's go set up out in the field. All right, guys, we're here in the field. We're gonna give this a test. We've got a nice wide open field here. Uh, the breeze is kind of up and down. It's been as high as around 30 to 45 kilometers an hour, somewhere in that neighborhood, a cross breeze, so it's gonna play some havoc on the audio. But this is probably a good a worst case scenario test. So let's give it a try. And it does vary a little bit. I'm gonna read some notes from the road website as I walk into the distance, and we'll see how far I can go before it starts cutting out. And forgive me for the wind, and forgive me for the messy hair. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's start walking, and we'll see what we got. Roadlink represents the next generation of digital wireless systems. Using a Series 2 2.4 GHz digital transmission with 128-bit encryption, it is able to constantly monitor and hop between frequencies to maintain the strongest possible signal level at a range of up to 100 meters, over 100 yards. The Roadlink Filmmaker Kit provides everything you need to start shooting video wirelessly, including a receiver, transmitter, and a broadcast-grade lavalier microphone. The receiver RX Cam features an OLED display with information on level, battery status, receiver and transmitter, mute, and channel selection. 
The unit can be mounted on the standard camera shoe mount, 3 8, 3 8 inch thread or belt clip, and for added versatility, the shoe mount can be located in one of the two positions. The lightweight transmitter TX belt can be fitted to the belt or clothing and features a locking thread to ensure the microphone connection is as secure as possible. Rode has included an omnidirectional lavalier microphone in the kit to provide the highest possible audio reproduction quality. So I'm going to look back now, just turn back, see where we're at with the camera. I can't even see the camera. So we're far. I'd say we're very close, about 100 yards, 100 meters, somewhere in that neighborhood. Try going just a little bit more. So there you have it. Coming in at approximately 399 US dollars, the Roadlink Wireless Audio System Filmmaker Kit will certainly compete with the big boys at much higher price points without breaking the bank, while allow you to have fantastic audio quality to coincide with your already existing great video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet subscribed, there's no better time than the present. You'll be notified when I upload more content like this or when I do live broadcasts, sometimes demonstrating these products in the live environment. Thank you so much for watching, and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button right now.